Well guys, I did it. I moved the fuselage out of the hangar. I did some rearranging. I'm starting to get my paint booth up. And I've even primed two parts so far. We're moving along. If I turn the camera around here, you can kind of see what I've done. I think instead of building that big jungle gym again, I have these two wing stands here and I'll move them a little bit closer together and then I'll just put some two by fours across the top. And that will let me paint, I think, everything except the, the wings and the fuselage. For the wings, I'll have to build a, a bigger jungle gym to hold that. But for now, uh, this will let me prime all the parts in here. I do have this curtain up here. Now there will be another one going from straight back here all the way to the front of the hangar that connects up to right about there. So that'll enclose the paint booth. Got the elevator and the horizontal stab here. It's ready for prep and paint. The rudder's ready for prep and paint. I have a bunch of parts here that are ready for prep and paint also. Now on this side of the hangar, I have the cruiser over in that corner. I have moved the pits back to this corner and there's still room to walk around. And I moved the two motorcycles from the garage over to the hangar. For one, because it's a little bit warmer in here, but it gets them out of the garage. I've got lots of room to maneuver around here. I still have my workshop area free to do some work. And behind the magic curtain, I have my two wings which I just need to, as I explained in the last video, I need to open up the hole on the aft spar, rivet on these wings, and uh, probably work on the wing tips. Now, moving into the garage, I have obviously the Super Duty fuselage. I have the Pitts fuselage in here, and it fits nicely, just kind of angled like that. I still have room for the car, and in three or four weeks or so, that Pitts will be completely gone since I did sell it. Here's just two little access covers that I primed today. One is for the elevator servo, the other goes on the wing. And for these ones, I'm just using this Rust-Oleum uh, self-etching primer. I found that this primer works amazingly well. Now guys, don't get confused. I am not using this rattle can primer on the airplane. But one of the things I've noticed about this primer is it's extremely hard to get off. Now I showed you previously how I, I'm trying to remove some overspray on things like the wings and on the fuselage where I just roughly prime some parts with this primer. And it's really, really hard to get off. So I, I'm doing kind of an experiment. I'm just taking a couple of the small access covers and I'm using this primer uh, to see how it works. I'll paint over it, but I just wanna see how this primer works. If it paint comes off later, it's not a big deal. I can just take the access cover off, use good epoxy primer and then repaint it. But it's just a little experiment I'm doing. I think this primer works great for things like this. And it's so much easier than mixing up a two part epoxy primer and uh, getting a spray gun out and doing all that. So if it works great for these little access covers, fantastic. But again, for the airplane and the airframe, I'll be using a, a real two part epoxy primer. So I thought I'd just quickly take you through the process I'm using for these little access covers. I'm using these two products you see on the screen here, and it's renamed, but the clear one is just a Luma Prep 33, and the gold-colored one is uh, Aladine. The clear one I just dilute a little bit. I put in a Tupperware container here, and the first two access covers I did actually just fit inside the container. This one's a little bit too big. So it doesn't fit in there, but I just dip it in the, the liquid and I'm gonna use this cheap brush just to completely cover it with this uh, mixture. Then I just wash it off with some clean, fresh water. And then I repeat the process with the, the Aladine solution. This one's undiluted. I just put it in a container, brush it on, and then uh, wash it off and let it dry. You can see now that the aluminum has sort of a gold tint to it. Now it's ready for primer and paint. Next is the easy part. I just use that Rust-Oleum self-etching primer, give it a two light coats, let it dry. Well, there's really nothing else I can prime because I don't have any of the good epoxy primer to prime the door frames or any of the other parts. So that's it for now. I guess I better get online and order some primer.